If you're interested in setting up a WireGuard connection to your Synology NAS and you want to keep the setup simple and straightforward, consider using Tailscale. Tailscale is an easy to configure service that coordinates WireGuard connections between various nodes in a single mesh network to allow connectivity between the nodes. In this video, I'll specifically be configuring my Synology DS920 Plus and my MacBook as Tailscale nodes to demonstrate how easy it is to set up a secure WireGuard connection with Tailscale. Before going through the actual setup, I'd like to provide an overview of how Tailscale works, and I'll be referencing this blog post from Tailscale, which goes into the details of the entire Tailscale system. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the description below as well, if you would like to read through it to get a more thorough understanding of Tailscale. As mentioned in the intro, Tailscale uses WireGuard to connect the various nodes to each other in what Tailscale calls the data plane. In a traditional VPN environment, a client would connect to a VPN connector or gateway to gain access to services available through the VPN in a hub and spoke architecture. This isn't the most efficient setup if, for example, you have this scenario where the VPN gateway is across country, but you want to access a resource that may have a faster or a shorter route that you may be able to use. This is where mesh networks come in, where each node has a direct wire guard tunnel to all other nodes. This would provide more efficient connections between nodes that minimize latency and optimizes speed. But imagine setting up and administering a mesh network manually. In this example, there would be 90 connections in an environment where there are only 10 nodes, so you can see that this becomes overwhelming very quickly. This is where the Tailscale control plane comes in, where a coordination server helps manage the exchange of the public keys of the various nodes so direct WireGuard connections can be created between the nodes. The last thing I'd like to mention is that Tailscale doesn't manage logins or two-factor authentication. Rather, they outsource authentication to single sign-on identity providers such as Google or Office 365. I'll provide a link to the list of supported providers in the description below. To learn more about Tailscale, have a look at the remainder of this page that covers topics like natraversal and incremental deployments. I'll also leave a link to a blog post specifically on how Natraversal works and how Tailscale implements Natraversal to magically make everything work seamlessly in the description below as well. Pricing for Tailscale is listed here on their pricing page, which I'll also link in the description below. For this video, I'll be using a personal account, which is free and which allows for one user, up to 20 devices, and one subnet router which lets a Tailscale node allow access to other devices on your network that you may not be able to install Tailscale on directly. You also get secured peer-to-peer -peer WireGuard connections with the various single sign-on and two-factor authentication identity providers, as I mentioned earlier. The free account also allows for sharing or inviting other users to access your devices and Magic DNS, which provides automatic DNS names for registered devices. I won't be covering sharing or magic DNS in this video, but if you would like me to cover these or other options available through Tailscale, let me know in the comments below. With the information on Tailscale and its pricing covered, let's look at running Tailscale on a Synology NAS. If you have a Synology NAS model listed here on screen, you'll be able to install the Tailscale package on your NAS. Tailscale also has a knowledge base article with installation instructions that you can follow as well. I'll leave a link to both articles in the description below. I'll be running Tailscale on my DS920 Plus, so I'll run through the installation steps by heading into the Synology Package Center and search for Tailscale. I'll install the app and open it up when done with the installation. I'll click Login on this screen, which redirects me to the login.tailscale.com webpage, where I'll use Google as my single sign-on identity provider by logging into my Gmail account. Once authentication is successful, I'll close the window, 
open the TailScale app once again, and we see that my Synology NAS is connected to TailScale. Next, I'll set up my MacBook as a TailScale node. I've already downloaded and installed the TailScale app for macOS from the TailScale download page, which I'll link in the description below, and I've launched the app as well. I'll log into my Gmail account like I did on my DS920 Plus and close the TailScale login web page after authentication is successful. Now I can see that I'm connected to TailScale and I also see that my DS920 Plus is listed as a device that I can connect to from my MacBook. I see the same information on the TailScale web page for my account under the Machines section as well. To test that the connection to my DS920 Plus works remotely, I'll connect to my iPhone personal hotspot, copy the TailScale assigned IP address for my Synology NAS, and confirm that I'm able to connect to the DSM login page, which looks to be working properly. Now I'll disconnect from TailScale, and if I refresh the page, I get an error that the page can't be opened. Also note that even if my MacBook is on the same network as the DS920+, Plus, but I'm not connected to TailScale, I won't be able to connect to the Synology NAS through the TailScale IP address. But if I enable TailScale, I'll be able to connect to the DS920 Plus just fine. I hope this video on TailScale provided you with a WireGuard based VPN option that you may want to consider using. And if you decide to use TailScale, let me know how things go by leaving a comment down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. Also, consider subscribing to this channel and make sure to check out the other videos listed here on screen for other VPN options you may want to try out. Thanks so much for watching.